in this session i'm going to discuss about cartesian plane and how to plot points on a cartesian plane now as you can see a cartesian plane consists of two axes a horizontal one is x axis and the vertical one is known as y axis and the point at which they intersect is known as the origin Cartesian plane is divided into four quadrants and these four quadrants are named as 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the anti-clockwise direction and are represented using Roman numerals. Plotting points in a Cartesian plane requires an ordered pair. Here 5, 6 is an example of ordered pair. The first the number 5 is an x coordinate and the second one is known as the y coordinate. Let's look at how an ordered pair is used and how it is plotted on a Cartesian plane. It's like entering a hotel. The x coordinate is like moving on the horizontal plane towards the door and y coordinate is like moving up and down the elevator. For example, let's say I have negative 3 and 4. So negative 3 tells me to move on the horizontal plane that is x-axis and 4 tells me to move along y-axis. And therefore, this is how I get my point negative 3, 4 negative 4, 6. So negative 4 along x-axis, 6 along y-axis, and that's where I get my point, negative 4, 6. Similarly, b, 2, negative 3. c, negative 6, negative 4. d, 7, 3. You may have noticed that all these points lie in different quadrants. Let's look at some of the special points. E50. It means that I have to move five steps along the x-axis and zero steps along the y-axis. That's where I get my point 50. Zero. Zero 06 means that I have to move zero steps along x-axis and six steps along y-axis. Similarly, negative 7 and 0 and 0, negative 3. You may have noticed that these points, they all lie on the axis and not in the quadrants. This is all there is in plotting points on a Cartesian plane. Thank you.